What's up? It's me, Chris. Um, this video is gonna be a little bit different. Instead of just just a song, today we're gonna be going over um, a program I wrote. This program randomly writes music, so I want I want to take a look at that, and I want to after after I explain some of it, I want to play a song that I wrote based around um, stuff that the program wrote. So I ended up putting in putting it in as a synth because I thought that made the most sense, and since aren't supposed to sound as like organic as guitars. Before we take a look at the code, I do want to uh, explain a little bit how I wrote it, kind of, you know, like the logic that went into it. So I'm going to transition to me in front of the whiteboard. So it's me, the person making this video, right? So I wanted to go over um, generally how my code kind of works uh, for the most part. So I thought I'd start off with a little bit of how I implemented music theory just a little bit so I started with scales and the way I thought of it was scales and modes are a set of intervals and so you can um, kind of make a list out of the notes that are in the scale based on the intervals let's look at C aeolian right C natural minor C is the root note let's call that zero uh, D that would be the major second that's plus two from the root note plus two semitones uh, minor third, D sharp, plus three, fourth would be F, uh, plus five semitones, fifth is G, plus seven, seven semitones, etc. So if you put that in a list, it kind of looks like this. Zero, two, three, five, seven, eight, and ten. And that's what makes up um, Aeolian. Not necessarily like C Aeolian, but just Aeolian in general. We do the same thing with harmonic minor. We can get pretty much the same thing, except with the sharp eleven or sharp, sharp 7, right? Um, we're just going to get out of frame for a second. But yeah. 0, 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, and 11. So obviously I had more than these two. Just these two. But I'm just using these two examples. Now we can look at this. You might be wondering, what is that? Or maybe you don't. Maybe you're not wondering. I don't know. But this is how I connected it to MIDI. So, for MIDI, Every note has its own number, and that number depends on what note it is from C to B, and also what octave it is in. So Z, C, zero, would be zero, C sharp zero is one, D zero is two, etc. C to B, zero through eleven, for zero octave. So there's a kind of like a formula kind of you can follow. So let's, let's start with C, okay, zero plus 12 times whatever octave you want. And that mean, the way that, what that means is that C, every note that is C is a multiple of 12. Um, every number that is C sharp then would be all numbers that are multiple of 12 plus one. So like one, 13, 25, do math. Once I found the root note that I wanted, so let's say it's say it's C1, okay, that would be 12, right, because 12 times 1, the octave, 12 plus 0, that gets 12. And the way I found C1 alien, which really isn't a thing, but for this program it is, I, I, um, I would add the, the, the note that I have to all of these. So I, add 12, I would add 12 to 0, 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, and 10. And that gets me a list of notes that I can randomly select from in order to make this random music. And then I also get different things from the user. I get um, what note lengths they would like in the, in the program, or in the music that the program writes, such as like half notes, whole notes, dotted half notes, quarter notes, all that kind of stuff. You know, I get the octave that they want, like I said, and then I also get the octave range. So how many, if I want to limit to the entire piece to one octave, the octave range is one, two octaves, octave range is two, you know, etc. You know, I get the root note from them, I get all that stuff, but I also have implemented two rules. First one being the first note that the program writes has to be the root note. So if we're going back to C C1 Aeolian, right? 
then the first note would have to be C1. So that would be 12. The second rule is that if the program lands on the 1 of, the sec of every two bars, then that note must also be the root note. If it does land on it, then it can be whatever note it wants to be. But if it lands on the 1 of every two bars, then that has to be the root note. So in this case, again, it has to be 12. Now back to me in a, in a different place. Okay, first track, computer written, second track, what I did with what the computer wrote. So, first chunk, six bars, I chopped into A, B, and C, sounds like this. And then I took those chunks and I uh, made into a new section, A, B, A, C, so that there's some repetition involved. Cool. Um, is it focusing on me? Oh, whatever. Um, then I had a, uh, a bass line. I didn't change anything about it, so this is just the bass line the way it is. Yep, and then I wrote a guitar riff based around that that you'll hear later. Here's another section, six bars, A, B, and C. Actually, it's three bars, my bad, but I divided each section into one bar, and then I did A, B, A, C again. Now, this, this is a big chunk that I divided into two separate, like, riffs, so let's take a listen to the first part of it. Okay, so what I did with that is, um, they're, they're all chord notes, so I shortened them all to eighth notes and I added like a bass line underneath, and it sounds like this. And so, going back to that, that thing, um, let's check out B. So that was an Aeolian, so the first thing I did was change it to harmonic minor. Um, I could have done this in the program if I wanted to, but I was I kind of thought about this afterwards. And um, I also shortened all the, all the chord notes to eighth notes again, added another bass line, this is what it sounds like. So yeah, that's everything. Um, pretty, that's pretty much everything to it. Um, let's check out the code. This is the part where you select your key, part where you select your mode or um, scale, part where you add the lengths. I'll show what this all looks like in a sec. But octave range. Okay, so this is the program, right? Choose your key. Yeah. Choose your scale. I haven't added all that I could, but um. This includes modes. So basically, I've got every mode of Ionian plus diminished and harmonic minor. Uh, the length of the section you want, you know, octave range, what lengths you want in there. It's got the list over here. Um, octave, what octave you want to start on, and then what file name you want, right? So I'm just going to slap that in there. And now it's right here. So yeah, I think now it's just time to uh, play the song.